All right, guys. So um, I'm replacing the signal on B16A uh, JDM, and um, I've already I've already done it, but I was having a lot of problems with it. Um, and I usually go to YouTube to look up uh, on how-to videos on how to do it if I can't figure it out. Um, but I did notice on YouTube there is absolutely no videos on how to replace a timing belt for a B16 or even a B series engine at all. There's there's quite, there's people seeing their videos and wanting to know why they have so much slack in their belt and stuff like that. But there's no video on actually showing how what your timing looks like, what the positions of your cams are, or your crank pulley. Um, and again, this is just my engine. I don't know if it's different from anybody else's. That it confused me and my buddy. Um, so we, I was decided to make this video so you guys, maybe if somebody out there is having problems like I was, you guys can look at this and. Maybe I'll answer some questions, but of course you need to be top dead center. Your cam gears need to be lined up with the notches uh, meeting pier three down and the up arrows facing up, of course. Um, make sure those are facing perfectly at each other, those, those two notches in the middle. They, they pretty much line up with the top of your head uh, without the valve cover on pretty, pretty well. Um, the, the biggest thing that confused me was the crank pulley, um, they tell you there's three notches here and there's one in the back. They want those three to be in front of the timing notch. And I don't have my valve cover on, so I was using the timing notch that the book was telling me to go off of, which is just that little bitty um, spike sticking out the block. It's real little. Let's see if I can focus in on it. Right there. It's just that little bitty notch, barely poking out. Um, that's the one that they tell you to go off of if you do not have your valve cover. So they want that mark equal with that last notch. But mine doesn't line up with that. I, I tried it, I kept taking the time belt off, re putting it back on, matched up with that notch, and it just wouldn't run. It would, I'd be at full throttle and it, would, it wouldn't accelerate, and if I took it off full throttle, it'd just die. It's had a lot of problems with it, so we finally got tired of it, and we decided to go ahead and push it back a little bit and time it up with these three notches, and it just happened to run perfect. Um, like I said, this might just be my engine, it might just be retarded, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it up for you guys just so you guys will believe me, and this is how it is lined up. Okay, um, also, um, if you have your crank pulley off and all you have is your crank gear left on there, um, there's no real notch on the outside of it to line it up with that, uh, the spike on the block. So, there is a notch on the side of it, um, this is an extra I have, that notch will be facing towards you if you have the uh, driver's side wheel off you will need that lined up with the timing notch on the side of the block it's right there um, if you have any other questions you guys can just ask me uh, like I said this was I feel like this is going to be an easy thing to do but it, it turned out being an all day thing kind of stressful because it's my daily but uh, just ask me a question I might have an answer I don't know uh, appreciate the view